Okay, now in part two of this demonstration involving uh, templates and sheet formats, we're going to discuss a scenario that, that uh, users seem to come across quite often, and that is uh, if they have an existing drawing, but they need to replace the title block information, maybe with a new company logo or something like that, uh, th the, the common thought is that we'd like to be able to just go in and replace the template. However, that's really kind of a misnomer. We have to understand what the definition of a template is. A template is a starter document and it can be a part, it can be an assembly, or it can be a drawing. When we say file new as if we want to create a new SOLIDWORKS document, we're choosing a template that forms the start point for this new document. So it's really not possible to swap out one template for another. Once a part or uh, assembly or drawing is created from a given template, that's the basis, that's kind of like the DNA for that file. What you can do, however, in a drawing is you can swap out the sheet format information. And that's why it was important in the previous demonstration to not only save the template, but to save the sheet format. Saving the sheet format serves us two important purposes. First of all, we can come back into any existing drawing, right click, choose properties and we can browse to a new sheet format file. And simply replace the active sheet. Now we've just replaced the company address and the new logo uh, with our new sheet format file that has the updated information. So it's very easy for someone to go back in and replace an existing drawing with an updated sheet format file. The other point uh, uh, opportunity where uh, the sheet format file comes into play is when you add a sheet to your drawing. So when we choose add sheet, by default my system is set up to use that new Acme template, but in the case, uh, it may be the case where you come in with a blank sheet or maybe it uses a different template. Uh, when you specify that new sheet, you can very easily once again go to the properties and browse for the desired format. So adding new sheets and changing out formats on old drawings or obsolete drawings uh, are two very important uses of the sheet format, the .sld DRT file, not to be confused with a drawing template. So hopefully these two lessons have helped, or helped to uh, eliminate some of the confusion over drawing templates versus sheet formats.